this how it works so here we'll, we have considered the case one in which when either of these inputs are low so when we say input is low what does what does it mean i mean low what how much low it should be we have seen the concept of noise margin isn't it so how much it low it should be it should be less than uh, it should be within the range of 0 to 0.8 how huh you read it okay in general i mean it, see it's device specific it's ic specific so you should not say like you know it, yeah generally it is in 0.8 or it may be 1.2 to 1.5 also so in general you should you should be very specific about the technical terminologies we have seen this if you remember there is concept of noise margin in that we saw that you know this, this is the levels for the inputs and this is for the output 0 input we have a wide range of values isn't it we saw that and for output we have you know less range why is that also we have seen isn't it so what is this called you tell me now this is the input right so what is this called this v i ha huh? v i l it is the uh, you know the the input voltage the maximum input voltage which can be considered as low what is this v i h which is nothing but minimum uh, voltage minimum uh input voltage which can be considered as high isn't it so you should say that it should always be in the range of vil 0 to vil so if we say let's assume some values let's assume some values usually these are in the range of point point uh, 4 to 1.5 vil for ttl circuits so when i say low i'm let's say i'm assuming zero for time being so if we consider that all right so i'm here if i'm keeping either of these inputs as low so either this as low or this as low or i may take any of these values are low or you know either of these inputs as low if i take this as low can you tell me what is the voltage here see if i don't apply anything what is the voltage here you tell me what is the voltage here vcc only okay 5 volts this is usually 5 volts now what is the voltage now if this is low what is the voltage here this is acting as this is what npn right this n pn n so this pn junction diode as good as point point 0.7 volts if it is a, i am assuming silicon diode okay so this is point 0.7 if this is point 0.7 what happens if this is point 0.7 what is the voltage here you tell me now see uh if it is 0.7 here i mean this this at this voltage with respect to ground it's 0.7 okay so uh, let me name this this is vb1 so this vb1 is having voltage of 0.7 if it is 0.7 what is the uh, what is the condition of this bias i mean this pn junction the collector based junction see in order to make this forward bias i mean if in order to conduct this okay in order to now consider this second transistor in order to make this conduct i need at least 0.7 volts here i need 0.7 volts here and isko kahan se milega supply yahi se milega na i mean there is no other path from which you know it can get the supply from so it should be 0.7 here and you know if you take in continuity it should be some voltage here i mean vbc which is usually you know in the range of 0.5 to 0.6 it is usually less than 0.7 so it is 
again it's a pn junction diode so it's again in the range of 0.5 to 0.6 so let's assume it 0.5 So this is 0.5. This is 0.7. In totality, we require 1.2 volts in order to, you know, make both of them to conduct. I mean, this PN junction to conduct, and of course, this PN junction to conduct, isn't it? So just because this is low, this is 0.7. There is a 0.7 voltage available at VB1. So you know, it can't forward bias this both junctions. In that case, T2 is off. If T2 is off, what is the output voltage? You tell me. If this is off, that means if I B is zero, let me draw that. So this I B is zero, right? If it is off, that means I B is zero. If I B now that is I B two. If I B two is zero, I C two is zero. If no current is flowing, what is the output? You tell me. V C C that means high. That means what would be the output here in this case? Hi. All right. This is case when either of the inputs are low, isn't it? This is valid for this this input also. Even if both of them are low, still the voltage drop here would be 0.7, just because they are in parallel. So. This will be off now. Uh, let me draw that. Okay, input one zero 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 one no one zero one one lag here. So for all of these inputs, the output will be high. What about one one? See here. See, this is important just because you know you have seen these devices in your lab. TTL circuits are what uh, you have been using. All right. See here. Now this is one. I am saying this is as good as one. Okay. I mean. Both if both the inputs are one, see what happens. If this is one, all right, one can be you know it's it's in the range of four to five volts. Okay, what I said, I'm assuming some certain things. I'm assuming that you know here a transistor I'm assuming these values, okay? This is how much we have assumed? 0.7. How much is this? We have assumed. Oh, uh, this one, right? Point. Point five. And this one? Of course, it would be. You tell me. What should be this value? Huh? Point two. V C E is nothing but V C B N. DC, this is point two, alright, and I'm assuming that you know this high is in the range of four to five, and low is in the range of zero to one, alright. So this this makes this uh, this keeps the things simple. Now if I'm assuming it as one one, that means as good as four to five volts. What would be the status of this PN junction diode? It will be reverse biased. That means it won't conduct. If it won't conduct, that means I B is zero. What is the voltage here? You tell me. V B one. How much is the voltage here? It won't. It is not conducting. What is the voltage here? You tell me. Five volts, right? It's not conducting. I mean, there is no connection here. Both are reverse biased. What is the voltage here? You tell me. Five volts. If it is five volts here, how much is the voltage required for this P N junction to be forward biased? We just saw it, right? I mean, how much is this required? Point five. No, no, minus. No, here, from here, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's point five, and how much is this required? Point seven. So point five and point seven, it's one point two. Is one point two sufficient available? Yes. So these both will be forward biased. 
if this is forward bias there will be sufficient amount of current which will be flowing from this base to collector junction which will be forward biasing this transistor t2 and this will be conducting if this is conducting this is very i mean uh, how much is the voltage here you tell me at the output it is as good as vc how much is that we have assumed as 0.2 is it well in the range of uh, low it's what is in range of i mean is it in range of high or low so in range of low that means the output will be low okay so when both the inputs are one one the output is low this is how you know the basic transistor transistor logic works this is a basic fundamental block of any uh, ttl logic nand gate so it works as a nand gate right now practically this is not uh, you know this is not the simple structure which is available uh, in the ic see uh, the problem here is i'll tell you the problem when the output is low when the output is low that means you know this this is 0.2 volts you assume and this is 5 volts right now i am telling the problem about this circuit the problem with this circuit this is 0.2 volts there will be sufficient amount of current which would be flowing from this 5 minus 0.2 divided by how much you know the the the, the, the resistance value which is usually in 1k or so so the current which would be flowing is around 4 to 5 milliamps that's huge so what they do is they do something like this they modify the circuit okay i'll modify the same circuit uh okay better way i should draw fresh one see what they do is they keep this circuit as it is this given to a transistor it acts as a uh, phase splitter you can say okay i'll explain that i mean they use multiple transistors now this was a structure earlier right i mean this was what we have seen rb1 rc2 this re2 this npn transistor see this is what the circuit we have seen right vcc uh, except this resistor i'll tell the uh, uh, the rule of this what they do is in addition to this they uh, they go for one more circuit what is uh, you know let me draw that circuit first uh, all right they connect the output of this all right to like this and they take the and they take the output from here i'll just explain what this means again vcc and here is where 
I am taking the output. See, what I have done, I have added two more transistors here. Okay. So, what was the problem with the earlier case? The earlier case was like, you know, when the output was low, there was sufficient amount of current which was flowing through the resistor. So, resistor was playing role there. The, uh, the the problem here is now, now, now that how that can be solved by putting this you know two transistors here and a diode now such kind of you know arrangement is what is called as a totem pole arrangement okay let me first uh, you know mark this this arrangement okay is called as a, a totem pole arrangement see this these are again English words Totem poles are nothing but you know various uh, like khambai hota hai, normal pole jo hota hai, you know they they actually these are uh, the, these kind of poles exist in you know America मतलब the foreign में जो होता है kind of pillars होते हैं pillars में अलग-अलग प्रकार के चेहरे design किए जाते हैं I mean it's like for uh, attraction for for tourist attraction and you know at various places you can see uh, you know mask or the faces of human people uh, humans you know placed one after the, uh, one above the other in uh, in a stacked position, okay, in a stacked manner. So those kind of arrangements are called as totem poles, okay. Or you can also see as a say it as a cascode. We have seen the cascode arrangement. So here, you know, two transistors are placed one above the other. So let's see how this can solve our problem. See what happens is now if we look at this arrangement, how this arrangement is. See the output is for one transistor. The output is taken from the collector side and for the other transistor it is taken from the emitter side see what happens if now see here how this operates if you know logic 1 appears here ok if 1 is here what happens you know this uh, this will conduct if this conduct ok what is the output here this is low what is the output here well it is a emitter follow up so it is the same voltage which appears here so emitter follower na so it it is high here current flows if current flows ic is sufficient enough if ic is sufficient enough it will be voltage drop here and the voltage will be one here almost uh, not equally one but you know it's a, we have seen the gain gain of uh, the the emitter follow as good as one okay now if it is 0 here, 1 here, this won't conduct, this will conduct. Is that true? If this conduct, this won't conduct, what is the output voltage? 0. This is not conducting. I mean, if this is not conducting, that means what? And this, this is in cutoff position. If it is in cutoff position, both are, you know, both are gone. These are both gone. The output voltage is 0. Let us take another case. If the input is 0, now you tell me. If the input is 0, it will be high here and low here. Then this will conduct and this may not. And the current flows through this diode to the output. Alright. But, you know, this not current, but the conduction happens. I mean, the output voltage is available through this transistor and, you know, this, uh, this, uh, this, this diode. That means this transistor is acting like a phase splitter. I mean, it is this this arrangement is helping you to conduct only one transistor at a time. If you no, know, okay. What is the benefit of that? The benefit is what was the problem with the earlier case? The problem was when the output was low, there was sufficient amount of current which was flowing through this. Now that is not happening. When the output is low, okay, the current which is you know uh, okay, what they usually do is. Uh, all right, so let me draw the low case. Here the output is low. That means they are they are connected, right? These are connected. This is connected to the ground, but this is not connected. That means there is no current which is flowing through this resistor, which wasn't the case earlier. In the earlier case, see here, when the output was low, When the output was low, there was sufficient amount of current which was flowing through RC. The RC is absent. Uh, I mean, RC is present, but you know that the transistor is off, so there is no current which is flowing from that RC. 
see the next arrangement here here this transistor itself is off so the correction has removed connection has been removed so there is no conduction path when the output is low in that sense it will save more power okay now why the diode is for the diode is there for you know there is uh, to to prevent the reverse transmission of this current okay it may happen if when it switches from low to high when it switches from low to high okay now this no it should be one way conduction from the base to the emitter side okay not not the other way around i mean uh, the 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 current see here when the transition happens let me draw this So here, when the when the out yeah when the output is high, now this is off, right? This is off, and this will conduct. Now see when the transition happens from one to zero, you know there is no conduction. Uh, I mean, there is no reverse uh, current which is flowing from this diode. I mean, there is no current which is flowing this way around. When the transition happens of the output from high to low, I am saying when the transition happens from high to low, okay. what is expected if you know usually what is there i mean there is a load capacitor which is present okay if you look at a big circuit or a big uh, or a global picture of this circuit there is some you know uh, some amount of voltage which is available at the load okay some some, some amount of capacitance which we call it as other load capacitance is nothing but a capacitance seen uh, from the input of the load okay so when the when the output is high and it switches from 1 to 0 what happens if this diode wouldn't have been there there would have been a conduction you know this way around there would have been a uh, you know possible voltage drop across this you know this e and c if the diode wouldn't have been present now if the diode is present okay there is no reverse flow of current when it switches from 1 to 0 okay in that sense it is saving power in two ways okay first thing is like you know this this transistor let me draw the let me label this this transistor t1 t2 t3 t4 what is the role of t1 to take the inputs what is the role of t2 to activate either of t3 or t4 it acts as a phase splitter again i am saying so this acts as a why phase splitter This acts as a phase splitter. I am saying. You remember, common emitter is giving 180 degree phase shift. So here it is 180 degree phase shifted, but here it is in phase. So it acts as a phase splitter, or you can say that it uh, makes sure that either of the transistors are on. Only this. This. No. Let me write that. So T two. Make sure. that only one transistor t3 or t4 is active only what is important at a time so this is what is the role of t2 so you got what is the you know wh what is the advantage we we are getting from the totem pole arrangement the totem pole is actually helping us to save more power so this is what kind of arrangement you can see in in practical circuits okay in practical ttl uh, nand is that clear to everyone sure let's go ahead uh, uh, this is a you know the point to be emphasized here and this to temple uh, to say can you tell me in one word power dissipation which power dissipation it is saving when is it saving to save power dissipation when when the output right 
when the output is all right <clears throat> okay let's go ahead all right so in lab you might have seen uh, you know there was also a viva question that you know which kind of circuit you are using i mean which kind of ic's you are using isn't it which kind of technology you are using you all said you know some of you have said ttl some of you have said cmos so you can very well determine that from the series as i said you know there are various series which are available seven four series of ic's are usually for commercial purposes i mean the ics which we have used and 54 series are usually for military purpose military applications now from this series also we may, we may not know i mean is it whether it is transistor transistor logic ttl or cmos we may not know for that purpose there is one more note uh, you know notation in 74 series now there are various uh, you know series which are available now 74 if there is c involved there then you can see it as a cmos series cmos which is compatible with the ttl if it is 74 s it is called as ttl short key if it is 74 ls it is low power short key ttl low power now again i i didn't specify c here low power short key and this is what the series you have used all way in the lab isn't it you have used this series 74 ls now what is what is your so specific about the short key see we have seen that we have seen the classification last time isn't it we have seen the classification of do you remember that we have seen the classification of logic families we said that the bipolar families are classified into two categories which are those tell me yes saturated and non saturated in saturated see here when i am saying that the transistor is conducting or it is in off position okay when it is on or off i mean that when it is on it's in saturated region when it's off it is in cut off region but see for to make it conduct okay we don't need to go all the way to the you know to the extreme range of saturation we can you know simply uh, you know satisfy ourselves to be just before the saturation we need not go you know all the way around you know those graphs to the extreme ends of those graphs let me let me tell you what i am saying see what i mean to say is these are the typical graph this is the typical graph of uh, not like this this is what you know a typical graph. so so in uh, during conduction okay when it acts as a switch i am saying that you know there is the when it is conducting it is somewhere here it is not conducting it is somewhere here but you know what i'm saying is to make this transistor to conduct i may not need uh, I, i need not go to the extreme ends of the saturation i am i may be satisfied with this end i may be satisfied with here and so on as long as it conducts and it conducts properly i am satisfied now what if i mean how does it matter to me see it matters in two ways first of all is the speed of operation and the power conduction uh, and the and the power consumption here the power consumption may be less just because the current desired or the current uh, which is required is less second thing is do you remember the storage time when we are having the pn junction diode if this is a pn if you know this is pn junction diode Now again, this is not analog. Again, I'm saying this is digital. If this is P N junction diode, when it is forward biased, what happens? You know, the majority of the charge carriers, the holes, 
goes here and the electrons goes here right and we suddenly switch from forward bias to reverse bias what happens you know i have given you an example if you remember like india pakistan people like when they migrate okay some singers from pakistan when they come to india and when you know, indians go to some you know khans go to the the pakistan when it is reverse bias okay when the tension arises what what happens they come back to the home country and the time required for them to come back to the home country is called as a storage time that is what we have discussed if you can remember this storage time is you know very critical or very crucial uh, as far as the speed of operation is concerned we want let's see speed of operation is directly related to the switching how much fast it can switch from 1 to 0 if there are most carriers which are stored in the other region or in the foreign region it will take more time to come back to the home region therefore if there are more if there is more current which is flowing in the saturation region there will be more time which would require to come back to the home region right more more time to require the charge carriers to come back to their home region and hence it will require more transition time and hence more delay time in order to reduce that in order to reduce that what we do is this short key arrangement is very beneficial in the sense what they do is this is the transistor See, these are subtle points which are usually missed what they do is they simply connect a specific kind of diode which is called as a short key diode in between this base and collector what i'm saying is they connect uh, this is base collector and emitter what they do is now see how this is see here all right here the problem here is when this conducts when this base to collector uh, junction of this t1 conducts okay it can go to all the way uh, all the way to the saturation region and it may takes time to come back to the active region uh, sorry the cut off region and so on so what we do is we simply place a short key a short key diode here have you heard of short key diode have you heard of short key diode all right uh, so it's a kind of diode uh, i mean it's a kind of you know metal and semiconductor ka junction okay what we usually have in pn junction is two semiconductors p and n in short key what we have is a metal and semiconductor in that sense there are more carriers of so in metals we have large amount of there is no minority charge carrier there are only electrons which are present in the metal so in that sense there will be more carriers which are available and you know there will be no very very less storage time therefore the cut in voltage of this short key is very less as well as 0.5 volts unlike uh, the pn junction diode which requires 0.7 volts or so and also there is less storage time in that sense it will be very beneficial so here you know instead of spending 0.7 volts you know that just 0.4 0.5 volts is sufficient and also the switching is very fast therefore you know this this short key arrangement is used and low power is the totem pole arrangement so in that sense we are using 74 ls ic's now you know now you should not ask what is there inside the ic now it's like we have gone to the very basic level or very you know fundamental level of what is there inside that ic in ic we are having various logics in logics we are having various transistors arranged in different fashion depending on what the series is we are making those arrangement we are seeing very specific series which we are seeing in the lab okay 74 ls and why i am looking at i mean see all of these transistors this transistor see as i said there are two families the transistors families and the mos families these transistor families are very well known for their speed of operation although you know, that is a, again a debatable claim cmos uh, this uh, we, are, we are going to see those things this ttl series is the only series which have survived you know all way for half century and still it has been used all other series like dtl rtl and you know, other series are gone that's why we are you know there is, is having some historical importance that's why we are we are also we are using that in lab today also isn't it so that's why we are seeing this all right now you got how the logics are implemented what the series means this military application how they are different from the commercial 
usually they vary uh, in the speed of operation they vary in temperature range if this is you know the commercial purpose range varies from 0 to 70 volts uh, so no, 70 degrees celsius i mean we may operate these ic's you know as high as in the range of you know 70 degrees celsius i mean see 70 degrees too high we are feeling the heat at 43 70 degrees celsius may happen you know inside this you know uh, high uh, high speed of operation circuits that's why the fans are available inside this 70 is like extreme high uh, range of operation military range varies from minus 55 to 120 so that's why this military grade devices are like very rugged to use all right <coughs> fine so we have seen only one family which is a ttl family this uh, the other family which we have seen was a mos family let's see mos families how the logics are implemented using mos in mos all right Tell me the types of MOSFETs. We make use of, yeah. ये कौन सी type का MOSFET है बोलो? हाँ? हाँ? Confidently quick. मैं कुछ draw नहीं करूँ. बोलो. I have said that there are multiple notations which have been followed by notebooks. What which we have followed is this one. Bolo. Huh? Very good. Pimos, huh? Only one option is remaining, no? Then? Okay, I will draw the counterpart, then you will come to me. Now you tell me. Ah, bubble wala is? Ah? Gado? PMOS. This is N. What is N mean? What does this N mean? N what? Channel. N channel mein? P is the substrate. Okay? And P channel mein? N is the substrate. And the conduction happens with the help of minority charge carriers. Okay, it's a unipolar device where the you know, if it is P channel, only holes are conducting. If it is N channel, only electrons are conducting. There is no holes present. Okay, it's therefore they are called as a unipolar devices. If you all remember, you have seen them. All right, we are making use of this MOSFETs for to implement the logical operation. How do I use? Let's see. Say for example, I need to implement. Uh, logic of let's say NAND gate using this the NMOS all right so this use something like this first tell me what how this operates see I'll I'll just tell you the notations when I say you know this acts as a switch you all know that if you don't know just brush your basics The switch is open when. Okay, let me write here something. What is this? V. This gate. So, so drain kon kon se? Either of them. I didn't, you know, I didn't indicate. Gate, source, drain. Now, this is open when. When I say that the channel is not formed, that means when this VG is. As good as, yeah, I mean less than VTH, isn't it? So let's consider that VG is zero. Some positive voltage is required. How much was that? What is that called? What is that called? Yes, very good. It is called as a threshold voltage. When is this conducting? When I say you know this switch is off, uh, sorry, the uh, the switch is you know connected. I say that the channel is formed. There is no channel here, and channel present, and it is completely complementary in here. Okay, uh, for PMOS. Now, 
what I can do is can I connect it something like this? This A input, if this B, tell me the logic it is implementing. Let's take cus cases, okay? When A, B. When it is 0, 0, gate are given 0, 0. What happens? Are they conducting? No. Output is? Output is? Huh? I? No, no, VCC. Huh? Huh? When it is 0, 1. One of them is conducting. What happens? Huh? When one of them is conducting, it is directly connected to zero, na? Channel is form. If channel is form, you know, if let's say this is this is one, na? This this is one. The channel is form. If the channel is form, there is a path to the ground. What is the output? You tell me. Zero. If it is one zero still. What if it is one one? Both are conducting. What logic it is implementing? Huh? What logic it is implementing? Nor. Are ye nor hai na? Kyu aisa kar rahe ho yaar? Nor. Can you implement the logic for NAND quickly? What is the change has to? Which change has to be made? You tell me. Yeah, just series would work. Okay, leave it. So if it is in series, it can act as a NAND, and uh, if it is in, you know, the parallel, it can act as a NOR. This is NMOS implementation of a NOR gate. Okay. Now you should not ask what is there inside a logic. You know, अगर मैं आपको सवाल पूछूँगा, why why में मतलब कोई भी अगर आपको सवाल पूछे कि इसके अंदर क्या है? You should be able to answer. This is just a symbol to indicate some circuit, which is this one. No, no, this is the NAND. Uh, this is for NAND. For NOR, it is. You should be able to answer this. First, you should ask which kind of. Yeah, built it is. Usko sab pucho, sab sawal pucho. Military gate ka ye wo. No. Uske baad. No, if this is NMOS implementation, we can always go for PMOS implementation. The things would be reverse. If this is in parallel acting as a NOR gate, that will be acting as a NAND gate and so on. I mean, reverse way around. Again, there is a problem with this. The problem is again with the resistor. See, in the ICs, you will never see resistors. Resistors are itself implement are themselves implemented as MOS devices again. Anyone, big treat for him. Can you tell me when can a MOS device act as a resistor? With confidence, one answer. Treat. I'm saying that in practically they don't see these resistors are like you know uh, uh, manufactured using various components like carbon and all. This is like these, these are like very bulky. मतलब जितने का जितना बड़ा resistor होता है उसमें thousands and millions of transistors बैठ जाएंगे उतनी जगह. So they don't go for uh, resistor. They usually implement the resistance. Behavior using MOSFET. How? We have seen that. Huh? Yeah, so you are close enough. So how? How to get that? If I ask you one question, yeah, MTEC walo ko bhi nahi aata hai. Dekho yahan pe. Dekho aapko, maine ye padhaya hua hai. Aisa nahi ki maine padhaya nahi hai. Aapko ye aana hi chahiye. This triple IT first year, first batch should be like, you know, spark. Sabko sab kuch pata hona chahiye. 
No, because you know this is what we have seen. You know, it's not that difficult. If I will draw the circuit, if I'm drawing n mos here, can you tell me what kind of arrangement will make this work as an resistor? Huh? You remember this kind of arrangement? ड्रेन और गेट को हमने शॉर्ट किया ये अरेंजमेंट आपने देखा है क्या नहीं देखा बता अभी बता अच्छा ये क्या है अब ये नहीं देखा होगा तो मार खाओ गया बोलो ये क्या है ये क्या है वी जी गेट सोस ड्रेन याद है बीस साल पहले दिस इज वॉट बताओ ये क्या आएगा जीएम ये पढ़ा है नहीं पढ़ा है ये क्या है बोलो वन अपॉन और दिस वॉट आर नॉट ना आई मीन आउटपुट आर आउट मैंने क्या किया यहाँ पे रजिस्टर पर दो ही टर्मिनल होते हैं ना अपने पास तीन थे तीन को दो कैसे बनाना ऐसे अब दो ही टर्मिनल है ना दिस एंड दिस मतलब क्या ड्रेन वाला टर्मिनल ये तो वायर का वायर का टुकड़ा ही है ना ये वायर का गुंडाला This is also wire ka kundala. What is VGS here? This is actual as VDS. So this act as a resistor. What is the value of resistor? Any one. Pat se bolo. Resistor ki value kya aayegi? Acha ye padha hai nahi padha hai? Nahi padha hai? Bolo ye resistor ka value kya aayega? One upon. ओके आर आउट इज एक्चुअली वेरी हाई सो आई विल मेक इट एज इनफाइनाइट वन अपॉन इज दैट ओके वन अपॉन जी एम क्यू जस्ट बिकॉज दिस आई विच इज फ्लोइंग फ्रॉम दैट इज जी एम बीजीएस वॉट इज द रेजिस्टेंस इम वी बाय आई दैट मीन्स वन अपॉन जी एम क्यू रिमेंबर वी हैव सीन दिस so what they do is instead of resistor they'll put you know this arrangement there's again a problem in that the problem is huh hmm no, that's okay that is dependent that's a fine no uh, the problem here is this interesting thing about this pmos and nmos i'll tell you this pmos is i am teaching digital electronics we will come to know कौन सा मॉसपेड है बोलो कौन सा मॉसपेड है एन मॉस नाउ आई एम प्लाइंग फाइव वोल्ट सी चैनल इज फॉर्म इफ आई एम हैविंग फाइव वोल्ट सी एनी वन विच वन इज सोज ड्रेन गेट बोलो फटाफट कैन यू मार्क लेबल इट सोज ड्रेन गेट क्विक एनी वन लेफ्ट वन ये क्या है बोलो हाँ एक आंसर कॉन्फिडेंस से कौन देगा चिल्ला के बोलो हाँ चिल्ला के कॉन्फिडेंस से यार पूरी इज्जत बैगन में मिला दोगे तुम बोलो हाँ कौन सा लेफ्ट वाला इज लेफ्ट वाला इज अच्छा हाथ ऊपर करके बोलो हाँ बोलो वेरी गुड सो दिस ड्रेन रिमेंबर एन मॉस में जो लो वोल्टेज होता है सोर्स क्या होता है जहां से इलेक्ट्रॉन्स जाएंगे इलेक्ट्रॉन्स कहां से जाएंगे जहां पे लो वोल्टेज होगा हाई हाई वोल्टेज पे तो खींचेगा ना इलेक्ट्रॉन्स दिस सोर्स गेट द प्रॉब्लम विद दिस पी मॉस इज 
now as i said that you know this acts as a switch okay acts as a switch na if this channel is formed when vg okay this uh, is 5 volts if i am applying v d as 5 volts i am expecting here to be 5 volts but it doesn't it gives what is called as 5 minus v some somewhat less than 5 volts just because why it should be why it should be see to form a channel there is sufficient vgs which is required what is that called vts so vgs should be sufficient you know that should be now as in what i am doing is now see here the arrangement what i will do is i'll simply apply i five volts like this and if i'm if i want to check if the five volts is appearing at the output i'll simply connect the capacitor if it is charging properly or not till what point it is charging and on what i will apply is a simple capacitor as soon as 5 volts you have applied okay it will charge it will charge till the point when vs becomes vgs minus vth that means 5 minus you know this this the difference the difference vgs should be vth right at least it should be vth that means the output voltage here let's say assume that vth is let's say 0.3 volts so the output will be point uh, sorry 4.7 that means what and now this is the problem with what logic 1 we have sent logic 1 here we have obtained slightly less than logic 1 that means let me write now n mos is poor conductor of logic logic let's look for logic 0 if we are sending logic 0 This is anyway zero. I mean, uh, when the switch is off, I am saying uh, okay. When the switch is on, you can say this is at uh, five volts. This is at zero. How much is the voltage required? Greater than VTH, na? Anyway, if it is zero, you know it can. It is greater than VTH, so there is no problem with uh, conduction of logic zero. There is only the problem with logic one. So no problem with, or I will say that good. logic zero so i'll just make a table here this n mos p mos lecture after this isko diya hai kya slot ha अभी नहीं रहता है ना वैसे अरे यार ओके बोलो दिस इज गुड दिस बैड बॉय फॉर लॉजिक वन दिस इज बैड फॉर लॉजिक दिस इज गुड फॉर लॉजिक वन एंड सो वन all right so this what does it say i mean what does it suggest you tell me jo jis kaam mein sahi hai uska istemal karo kaun kis kaam mein sahi hai pmos is good at conducting logic 1 and mos is good at conducting logic 0 let's make use of both of them one to conduct logic 0 another to conduct logic 1 and that is how no what is called as a cmos is designed it's called as a complementary mosfet complementary in the sense it includes both the mosfets pmos and nmos and when one is on another is off and vice versa the operation complements each other v gd 
just to differentiate between the TTL and CMOS supply. यहाँ पे क्या लगाऊँ अब अब बताओ मुझे आउटपुट अगर मैं यहाँ से ले रहा हूँ देखो यहाँ पे हिंट देखो आउटपुट अगर मैं यहाँ से ले रहा हूँ बोलो यहाँ पे पी मॉस होना चाहिए एन मॉस होना चाहिए बोलो मैं बोल रहा हूँ कि नो यू यू यूज पी मॉस एंड एन मॉस सच दैट नो बोथ ऑफ नो यू शुड गेट बेस्ट ऑफ बोथ वर्ल्ड कैसे मिलोगा कैसे मिलेगा आपको ऊपर पी मॉस क्यों पी मॉस इज वेल कंडक्शन ऑफ वन सो हियर इट शुड बी पी मॉस ना बबल दू यहाँ पे हियर इट शुड बी एन मॉस If I simply connect, it acts as a simple inverter. So if this acts, this becomes x ka bar. See how does it operate? अगर मैंने x one दिया, देखो यहाँ पे. If I give x as zero, oh sorry, uh, okay one. What happens? If x is one, ये one यहाँ पे, यहाँ पे भी है. ये conduct होगा क्या? नहीं. ये conduct होगा क्या? हाँ. Conduct होने के बाद क्या होगा? Path form होगा. Path form होगा तो output क्या होगा? बोलो. जीरो एक अनदर केस जीरो कौन कंडक्ट होगा जीरो जीरो है ना यहाँ पे कौन कंडक्ट होगा ये कंडक्ट होगा ये और बात ऐसा है ना इट इज कनेक्टेड टू वन पीमोस कैन ट्रांसमिट गुड वन ओके हेंस वी हैव मेड यूज ऑफ बोथ वर्ड ओके दिस इज व्हाट इज यूज प्रैक्टिकली व्हाट इज कॉल्ड एज दिस इज कॉल्ड एज अ कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री मॉस्कू अरे दिस इज अ सिंपल example to construct an inverter using mosfet now just just give me 5 minutes so say for example i need to implement nand gate there's a trick now this is called as a pull up network this is called as a pull down network just because it pulls downs the logic मैम आई ये इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कंस्ट्रक्ट डैन गेट आई टेल यू द प्रोसीजर यू कैन इंप्लीमेंट एनी बुलियन एक्सप्रेशन यूजिंग सी मॉस द प्रोसीजर इज समथिंग लाइक दिस इफ यू नीड टू इंप्लीमेंट नैंड ना ए बी का बार दिस सी मॉस डिवाइसेज आर कैपेबल ऑफ इंप्लीमेंटिंग द कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री लॉजिक Want to implement non-complementary logic? First, implement the complementary logic and apply an inverter at the output. Okay. So what you do is, no? Okay, very good. So what you need to do is, step is first implement uncomplemented. expression using n mos implement complement using P mos, how? Let's say you want to implement this. What is the uncomplemented expression? A into B, na? You implement this in n mos. How? When it is, when it is, and combination, go for series. Series of n mos when it is or combination that means if it is a or b a plus b go for parallel parallel combination of n mos okay next step
ओके यू रिवर्स रिवर्स द इंप्लीमेंटेशन फॉर पीमॉस वॉट डज दैट मीन If it is a series here, make parallel in PMOS. If it is parallel in NMOS, make series in PMOS. Okay. I'll tell you an example for this. If the expression to be implemented is this one, y to a b ka bar. First implement a into b. कैसे? Step one. using n mos in series aise na dekho do n mos series mein hai ek kya hai this two input na ek kya rahega ए दूसरा स्टेप टू रिवर्स द अरेंजमेंट फॉर पीमॉस दैट इज सीरीज को पैरल बनाओ पैरल को सीरीज बनाओ सी याद करने की जरूरत नहीं है इफ यू लुक एट द लॉजिक केयरफुली यूल कम टू नो सो एंड यू नो द स्टेप थ्री इज कैसकोर स्टेप वन एंड स्टेप टू और यू नो टोटे बोल दे बोलो अब यहां पे क्या है दोनों सीरीज में थे नहीं है पीमॉस कहां पे कैसे आएंगे पैरेलल में नाउ दिस कोर्स एक्चुअली यू नो दिस टॉपिक एक्चुअली लिंक्स टू द अंडर ग्रेजुएट कोर्स टू अ ग्रेजुएट लेवल कोर्स व्हिच इज कॉल्ड एज अ वीएलएसआई डिजाइन ओके व्हिच यू विल सी इफ यू ऑप्ट फॉर दैट एंड दैट एज एन इलेक्टिव दैट विल बी मोस्ट प्रोबेबली एज एन इलेक्टिव फॉर यू डिपेंड्स हु इज टेकिंग दैट सो नो इफ द the faculty is available that course would run otherwise not so this actually marks the beginning for the that uh, you know that top uh, that course will as a design where you will learn various softwares how the layout has to be designed using cad and software how the layout has to be designed in microwin and you know there are various softwares which are available yahan pe kya hai bolo p ye kahan pe connected hoga ground ये कहां पे कनेक्टेड होगा बोलो बोलो डू नो दिस वी डी ये क्या है बोलो यहां पे क्या दू बोलो अगेन ही ना ए एंड आउटपुट इज टेकन फ्रॉम वे यू टेल मी कहां से लू Can you please verify if it is working fine or not? See, nine gate मतलब क्या? <coughs> no, all it is zero when when both are one. When both are one, both are off. No, upper pivots are both off. It provides the path. I mean, both are conducting, right? What is the output logic? Zero. It is directly connected to zero, right? When either of them is on. Okay, it doesn't help. I mean, this there is no conduction path to the ground, so it will always have a conduction path either through this or through this. So it will always have logic. Wow. Hence, it acts as a logic of NAND. Is that okay? In this sense, you can implement any Boolean expression. Is that clear? Any Boolean expression. So in the exam, if I ask you to implement any logic using TTL with totem pole. using pmos using nmos 
and seymour should be able to do that how can you go for any logic implementation using ttl you just need to cascade those many circuits that's it i will also specify how much input it should be if it is i mean i may restrict you to two input nand gate and that circuit will be very big and i love so you know i am saying that you should be able to implement in all the times okay all right so this is all about yeah so these are the two wide families bet na bet na these are the two wide families uh, which we need to uh, which you know in which the logic families uh, in which the logic circuits are implemented i'll just tell you a broad classification of this ttls and cmos high power dissipation high power requirement unless and otherwise if it is a you know low this this mean for low power applications this take more space compact these are usually faster okay but you know again i said that you know they are debatable it's a debatable i mean cmos are still available in faster you know uh, faster designs so i won't comment on that the noise margin the best part of this is noise margin do you know noise margin well that is not the only term which is used for ic specification we'll see 10 different terms for ic specifications noise margin is very low here नॉइज मार्जिन ज्यादा होनी चाहिए कम होनी चाहिए शुड बी एज हाई एज पॉसिबल नॉइज मार्जिन इज वेरी हाई हियर हाई कितनी हाई यहाँ पे पांच वोल्ट जितनी हाई हो सकती है आई मीन नॉट एग्जैक्टली फाइव वोल्ट सो वन पॉइंट फोर टू फाइव वोल्ट इट इज लो एज गुड एज पॉइंट टू वोल्ट This one more term, which is called as fan in and fan out. So again, this is debatable, but you know, for this, it is usually low, high advanced CMOS circuits are available where the fan out and fan in are quite high. Do you know these terms? Do you know these terms? How many of you know this term? You know this term? Can you tell me what is fan in? No means no. Okay, not K N O W. Okay. Fan out is very high. Here. So I'll just quickly tell you various specifications which these device manufacturers, uh, you know, specify in their data sheets. Very first thing. So these are IC specifications. first ic specification is the speed or you can say the time delay better way to say it as a time delay this td what is this uh consider a gate whose input is something like this what i'm saying is this is logic 1 this is logic 0 why drew it like this i mean why have drawn it like this see practically it's not like no this is kind of ramp or you know you know a steep uh, this this is no brick wall kind of change which happens practically practically it is like you know this is very small all this delay is very small we have to consider this is for the input and let's say it is an inverter or you know any any logic so if i am considering an inverter the output i expect it something like this right
this was supposed to be your last experiment but anyway it didn't happen so if this is input this is out what i'm marking is 50% voltage levels so this is 50% those who are tired can leave i've marked you know this the levels the points where this 50% of the transition happens because that is what the point is like you know uh, using which we can determine the delay it is not well at 50% but uh, yeah this now it is Now this one, this delay. The delay कब आया? जब output has transit from logic one to logic zero. This is called as the T P, the propagation delay when the output goes switches from logic one to zero. That means H L T P H L. The propagation delay when the output goes from logic high to logic low. Similarly, this one. is tp lh this should be as less as possible okay so this is one of the specification this is as i said uh, for ttl purane wale jo ttl usme high rehta tha purane wale cmos mein low rehta tha but now it's like you know comparable always remember these are all measured at 50% voltage levels next is the specification is power dissipation are these voltage levels these delays are specified 50% of logic zero and logic one i mean That sense only. I mean, how will you? Otherwise, you may go for logic one, but fifty percent is like you are not doing any kind of justice, uh, injustice to logic zero or logic one. It's like no. we're taking both. So the total, uh, you know, this delay is usually T P L H plus T P L H H L by two. Power dissipation P D. Now this this time delay और एक सवाल पूछा गया था यू रिमेम्बर पता नहीं किसको पूछा गया था इसका रेंज uh, कितना रहता है इज इट इन मिली सेकेंड्स माइक्रो सेकेंड्स यू रिमेम्बर दिस क्वेश्चन दिस वे क्वेश्चन विच आज इन वाई वाई यूजली इन नाइनो सेकेंड्स बहुत छोटा रहता है इसका डिले एंड दिस पावर डिसिपेशन अगेन इट इज मेजर इन मिली वैट्स दिस पावर डिसिपेशन इज डिफाइंड एज you know this uh, the voltage supply vcc okay this uh, the supply voltage multiplied by this ic now this power dissipation for logic l power dissipation for logic high so this is icc i will say for logic 0 and icc for logic 1 not icc can the current the maximum current which is actually taken from the power supply at logic zero 
ICC one is maximum current from the power supply when it is at logic one. Okay. All right. So this is. I'll say that. This power supply now. This for low and high. Usually they take it as an average, average of high and low. Then what is the power dissipation? What is the ideal value? Tell me. Power dissipation का ideal value. See the CMOS are actually, as I said, they're having advantage in. What is the advantage of CMOS? What is the advantage of TTL? We have seen the comparison, right? This low power, low power because you know this. No, they they consume power only during switching. They don't consume power when they are at logic one or zero. Just because the channel is already formed, they they are, they simply connect, you know, this uh, the output to VDD or zero. They don't consume power. It's like a channel is formed. It's like you know they have simply put the cable and they are simply connected VDD and zero. They don't they they don't consume power. so the power is consumed only during the switching which you will learn in higher level courses so this should be as low as possible this third specification which is called as figure of merit this is nothing but a product of or, or a kind of uh, called as a speed power product oh, sorry uh, yeah speed power or a time delay product Time delay and power product. So T D multiplied by this power is nothing but figure of merit. Can you tell me the unit quickly? Quick. Tell me the unit. Huh? Huh? What is that called? Yes, it's a. So pico juice, isn't it? So this is another specification which should be again as ideally it should be as as low as possible. Next noise margin you know okay I won't specify that. So fourth is noise margin which we have already seen. noise margin as i said it should be as high as possible fifth specification is you know this what is called as a uh, current parameters or i will simply specify it as uh, let me specify the current parameters first you remember this noise margin has nothing to do with the current noise margin has to do with the voltage parameters These are current parameters which has to deal with what is called as fan in and fan out. Now let me first uh, specify the notations. Notations are if I am having some gate, there are four currents which are defined these are called i i l i i h i o h oh so i o l or i o h
just few turns. <coughs> All right. As I said, there are four different currents which are defined. You can can you call them? Okay, I am used. There are four different currents which are defined for any gate. Say, for example, we are using some gate, NAND gate, NOR gate, NOT gate, any gate. There are four different currents which are defined. I L I I L indicates the minimum amount of current required from the power supply to indicate that to take it as a low voltage. Okay, low uh, low logic. There is a minimum input current to designate it as a low at low. It's okay. See, if I want, if I am saying that it's low logic level low, I should specify both the voltage levels and the current level. मतलब आपके पास voltage है current ही नहीं उसको drive कैसे करोगे? आपके पास current है पर voltage ही नहीं है तो force कहाँ से apply होगा? So it's like that. So you need to specify both the things. So this is a minimum. Again, I am saying it's a minimum input current. I mean, required for logic low. Similarly, what is I H? Minimum input current at logic high. Now, ab kya? I mean. You may say that. I mean, it's a one-way device, right? If what I mean, what is the arrow is doing in this fashion? I mean, this uh, this direction. What is this arrow doing? See, this is like you know, it may happen that. Have you seen this logic? Have you noticed that here? When we have seen that TTL. So in this TTL, okay, it may happen that symbol वाला case देखते हैं। So it may happen that this is uh, logic is at uh, high, okay. I mean the output logic is at one. So there is some amount of current which is flowing from this. There is a voltage drop here, ना point two, and it may provide some resistance here. So there is some amount of current which is actually getting sink into this logic outside. So, I mean if this is logic one, you know what do we expect? करंट शुड बी आउट आई मीन इनपुट देने के बाद आउटपुट करना है बट यू नो वेन द आउटपुट इज एट लॉजिक वन और जीरो इट मे हैपन दैट सम करंट मे सिंक बैक इन टू सर्किट ओके आई कॉल एज सिंक करंट सो दैट शुड बी एज लो एज पॉसिबल ओके सो वॉट इज द मैक्सिमम करंट विच इट कैन सिंक वेन आउटपुट इज एट लॉजिक वन और जीरो दैट इज कॉल एज आई ओ एल और आई 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 ओ एच ओके यू गॉट इट हम एन एफ यू डिन गेट How many of you didn't get? You didn't get. Okay. What I'm saying is, see, what do we usually expect to drive the load? This is an inverter. I should specify minimum amount of voltage and you know minimum amount of current to the okay to the uh, to the input of this inverter or any logic or any gate but if assume that if you apply certain inputs you got the output it may happen that if the logic uh, if output is at logic 1 some current may get sink back into the gate why we have just seen the arrangement of ttl like you know if output is at high 
okay the transistors may itself they may themselves uh, you know give you the conduction path okay through which it may conduct that's why you know there is uh, what is called as a maximum sink current so this is called as a sink current okay this is i oh, this ol is maximum sink current you understood you are still you want me to explain see here what i am saying is the sink is like this is the output which is at 5 volts assume that now all right so and assume that this transistor is conducting there will be some voltage drop here some voltage drop here and so on totally you know it's a 5 volts this is as good as some resistor small resistor and this is also a resistor there will be some current which is flowing this is back you know it is you know way back to the circuit or way back to the logic okay it is not output current it is like a you know, the current which is being sink back to the circuit so such currents are called as sink currents now that may be that may happen at logic 1 or 0 in that sense they are defined as i o l or i o h okay so this sink maximum sink current at logic bolo logic 0 this i o h is maximum current sink current at logic 1 is that okay hmm. ah very good so you know that is what actually link uh, links uh, to my next specification a question is it may happen that the current which is being pumped outside and which is being sink from the out, uh, you know from uh, into into that uh, into that logic gate may cancel each other and that is how you know there is one more parameter which is defined which is called as fan in and fan out so you no know, uh, this is the gate okay it may provide some current and i may cascade let's let's cascade some you know same gate okay i'm cascading same gate similar gates now as she said okay as she said ki यहाँ का ये जो करंट यहाँ से यू नो इसको ड्राइव करने के लिए जितना जितना करंट चाहिए एंड द करंट बिंग सिंक ओके बाय दिस गेट दिस बोथ में कैंसिल में हैपन लेट्स लेट्स कैलकुलेट लेट्स अप्लाई केसीएल हियर ओके व्हाट हैपन्स हियर द टोटल नंबर ऑफ गेट्स लेट लेट इट बी एन नंबर ऑफ गेट्स एन नंबर ऑफ गेट विच आर बिंग ड्रिवन बाय दिस सोर्स दिस दिस ड्राइवर गेट सो एन नंबर ऑफ नो एज i am saying that these are the equivalent number of gates they may uh, take equal number of current what is this current say i let it be at logic high this is at i what is that called i i h this must be equal to what is that called i o this n which is nothing but i o h and i i h what is this n number of devices it can drive so that is what is called as a fan out that means if you are purchasing an and gate or nand gate okay or any logic gate if you are purchasing you make sure that how many and gates you might have noticed that when you build a big circuit and you cascade projects mein dekha hoga ki 5 volt jo input mein diya hai wo 5 volt nahi rehta output bahut kam hota hai बहुत डीम होते हैं एल ईडीज कम होते हैं ज्यादा होते हैं ओके आई मीन देर इज वोल्टेज दिस लेस अमाउंट ऑफ वोल्टेज विच इज अपियरिंग एट द आउटपुट दैट्स बिकॉज द फैन आउट कैपेबिलिटी ऑफ दोज लॉजिक गेट्स आर नॉट इनफ 
okay what is fan out now let me define that term fan out is nothing but you got this fan out is the total number of similar gates a gate can now okay pardon my english so logic gate can drive or total or maximum you can say not total zero maximum in what sense uh, can drive without yes without hampering the operation okay without this called as a fan out okay so it is defined as something like this <clears throat> there is one more uh, term which is called as fan in. The fan in is nothing. आपने नोटिस किया होगा कि कितने इनपुट के एन गेट, two input, n input can be can we have an gate with n number of inputs? No, I mean there is a limitation for that. So fan in is nothing but the number of inputs or a gate can drive. Okay. So say for example, there is a a NAN gate, n input NAN gate. so this the total number of inputs is called a fan in got this fan in fan out clear and the next specification is like temperature which we have already discussed i mean for commercial application it's ranging between 0 to 70 and for 0 degree se kam matlab jaate nahi usually in commercial applications all right but in you know this military grade walkie talkies and all which they use in indian army is they are having wide range in minus degree because you know uh, they are placed in you know ladakh and all they are having minus negative temperature wagera rehta hai so that's it uh, i think so there are other uh, you know specifications which are called as a see when you go to the market and you ask for an and gate ic or nand gate or any logic ic what do you ask for i mean you just specify then that we want and gate ic or nand gate ic you didn't specify what temperature it should operate in you didn't specify you know other you know the rest of the things what they give it to you is the best among or what is more popular you can say the popularity depends on these many factors in addition to them there are some miscellaneous factors like does it provide some additional logic without any hardware cost how much is the price of that circuit what are the different configurations or what are the different logics apart from what uh, logics they have specified i mean can it perform different logics without you know much invest uh, much, much investment in the hardware and so on and there are miscellaneous some other specifications also which makes a series popular that's why you always see that you know this 74 series is always popular just because you know it has actually survived because of all these specifications which have actually satisfied or fulfilled requirements of the design right so let's stop here for the for uh, today there are, i think there are some topics which are left acha actually khatam nahi ho raha hai